searching for direction for the answers to our questions trying to figure out which way to go when the path ahead is unclear and your eyes are filled with tears take a breath and hold on tight to hold make the choice Good morning and welcome to Prayer and Devotion on this Saturday. Today is Saturday. It is July 8th. It's actually my, it was my grandmother's birthday. Anyway, it's good to be with, with all of you. Started off today with Choose Joy. Uh, that was Scott Crepain off of his Especially for Youth 2018 album. So I, I've never heard that song before, but I liked it and I thought I'd share it with you today. Today we're going to be looking at Philippians. We're going to be talking about joy. Um, we're going to be talking about being responsible for our own joy. Um, and it's good to be with you, all of you today. So let me say good morning to you. Uh, good morning, Barbara and Donna. It's good to have both of you here today praying for you uh, um, this morning. And good morning, Priscilla. I have my Priscilla mug today. Um, just wanted you to know that we're praying for you and your family down in Atlanta in this time. So just surrounding you with lots of love. I'm glad you're with us today. Good morning, Genevieve. 
and Andrea. It's good to have both of you here today praying for you this morning. And good morning, Macon and Sue. Uh, glad that you're both with us praying for you this morning. Good morning, Susan. And uh, Jerry. <laughs> it's okay. Um, it's good to have both of you here today praying for you this morning. And good morning, Lynetta. I'm glad you're with us. And Genevieve, it's good to have you here. I think I may have already said good morning to Genevieve. Um, praying for you as well. And good morning, Michelle. Um, praying for your family down in Atlanta too, as we um, and for uh, the whole family in this time of, of grief, uh, just surrounding you with lots of love. I'm glad you're with us today. So today's devotion comes from Philippians 4. I'm going to be reading verses 4 through 7. Philippians 4, 4 through 7. So I'm going to invite you to open up your Bibles and uh, turn to Philippians 4. As you're doing that, my name is Cindy Stauffer. I'm blessed to serve as a pastor at the United Methodist Church at New Brunswick. Our church is on the corner of George and Liberty Street in the heart of the city of New Brunswick. And uh, if you're looking for a place to worship, join us tomorrow at 11 in person or on, on our live stream. But I'm glad you're with us right now. So let's take a look at Philippians 4 verses 4 through 7. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be known to God and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again rejoice. So today's devotion is entitled, Be Responsible for Your Own Joy. So, <laughs> my battery is running low. This has never happened, but we're going to just go and, and we'll see how it goes. When we are unhappy, we usually blame it on someone or something else. It really rarely occurs to us that we must be responsible for our own joy. But that is indeed what we must do. If my joy is based on having all the people in my life do as I please and on always having pleasant circumstances, I have little hope of enjoying very many days. However, if I take responsibility for my joy and realize I can choose to be joyful regardless of the circumstances, then I can enjoy every day of my life. The longer I live, the more I realize that everything in life is a choice. I, the enjoyment of life does not depend on what happens to me, but on how I respond to it. We can't control what other people do nor what our circumstances will be from day to day, but we can control ourselves with God's help. God has given us the gift of self-control as one of the fruit of the Holy Spirit, Galatians 5.23. This fruit resides inside of us and is like a muscle. The more we use it, the stronger it gets. For many years, if I wasn't happy, I usually blamed my emotional state on my spouse, what he was or wasn't doing. But God has taught me that my joy is my responsibility, not someone else's. Blaming others for our problems only puts off the inevitable. Sooner or later, we must take responsibility for our lives if we want to enjoy them. Let's stop the, the sooner we do, the more days we can enjoy in the future. So let's stop making excuses for our ungodly behavior and take ownership of it, ownership of it instead <clears throat> and ask God to help us change for the better. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to pop this out of here so that I can plug it in and keep talking. Um... 
There you go. It is so, you're gonna get a different, different view, right? Um, it is so easy for us to get caught up in believing that our circumstances and what, what is happening to us has a deep power over whether we can have joy in our lives or not, or enjoy our lives or not. Um, I th I'm not sure if I shared this recently, but I was reading something and it talked about someone who who lived continually on this roller coaster. So everything was either wonderful or just down in the depths. And all, and so they just moved from high to low to high to low. And the, the highs are wonderful, but the, the, when you're coming down off of that and crashing down, it, it just is exhausting. That's the only thing I can think to when you're living constantly between highs and lows, that's exhausting. It isn't what God wants for our lives. And so the, the, I know I've told this story, so I'm not going to tell the story again, but the most important thing for us is to be reminded that each day is precious. Each moment has possibility and we can choose to seek the goodness no matter where we're standing. Even if we're standing graveside, there are blessings in the midst of it. Maybe it's family gathered together. Maybe it's reminders of the beauty of that life. There are always choices. There are always opportunities for us to see God's goodness no matter where we're standing. And we have the choice to see it that way. Or we can react and live on the roller coaster of the highs and lows. But ultimately, there is, um, that is not God's choice for us. God's choice is for us to see goodness no matter where we're standing. So today, I don't know what you're walking through, but God knows and God is with you. I invite you, no matter where you're standing, no matter what circumstances, no matter how much unknown there is in the day ahead, to find ways to rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say, rejoice. So I'm going to invite you to, to let that be your word today, rejoice. And maybe periodically throughout the day. Um, sometimes I'll put like a little rubber band around my wrist as a reminder, but somehow, somehow let, um, let yourself be reminded throughout this day to find opportunities to rejoice to choose joy for the day ahead. Let us pray. God, we come before you this day with grateful hearts for all that you have planned for the day ahead, for this very moment. We say thank you, Lord. Thank you. We are so grateful for all the many ways that you show us your presence, that you teach us how to rejoice, how to choose joy, how to find the gift of life wherever we are standing. Forgive us, Lord, when we have given over to our own roller coaster of emotions and have stopped seeing your very presence with us. Forgive us when we have chosen uh, everything but joy. 
lead us back. Show us this day all the many ways that we can rejoice. We thank you, Lord, for this very day. We rejoice in the blessings that are ahead. We rejoice in your presence in our life. We rejoice for the gift of your grace. In all of this, Lord, we rejoice. As together we pray the prayer that you taught your disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. So this day, today, my prayer is that you will find many opportunities to rejoice. Rejoice, my friends. It was good to be with you. God loves you, my friends, and so do I. Um, tomorrow, uh, we're going to be continuing on our series of Women in the Bible, um, and we're going to be looking at Rahab. So I hope you can join us, whether you join us in person uh, or you join us on our live stream. Uh, we hope to see you there. And uh, then I'm going to be uh, doing prayer and devotion next week, Monday through Friday, but that will be it for several weeks because I'm going to be going, uh, well, for a few weeks. Uh, I'm going to be gone from um, July 15th through the August 3rd. So we'll be back again on August 4th, but I just wanted to let you know, but I'll be the, I'll be uh we'll have prayer and devotion on Monday. So I will see you then. Have a very blessed day. Rejoice my friends. See you tomorrow. Bye.